Determine the desired rail placement. Make sure sufficient mounting structure exists in areas to receive posts. Plumb the posts using the shims provided and secure all posts in place. Through bolting is recommended. Post flanges are drilled to accept four 3 8 inch diameter fasteners. Use the appropriate type of fastener for your installation to ensure post attachment meets the required loads. Repeat this process for all posts. Place the bottom rail across the opening, ensuring equal baluster spacing on each end. Be sure to mark each end one quarter inch from post face to allow for bracket thickness and expansion. Transfer these marks to the top rail and cut. Next, let's attach the support foot. Locate and mark the center point on the unrouted underside of the bottom rail. Attach the rail support to the bottom rail using the supplied hardware. Lay the bottom lineal on a clean, non-abrasive surface. Locate the crimped balusters included in the rail kit. Place two of the tab balusters into the second routed hole from each end. Be sure that the tabs engage the aluminum stiffeners. Distribute the remaining crimped balusters evenly throughout the section, then the remaining balusters. Next, connect the top lineal. Hang assembled section between posts on installed brackets. Secure the top and bottom lineals using two supplied set screws into each pre-mounted level bracket. Install the bracket covers. Simply place covers around lineal and press to lock the ratcheted teeth together. Install the two-piece trim ring by gently pressing two pieces together until they lock into place. Glue the post caps in place. Attach the rail support to the deck surface and snap the cover in place. Next, let's install a stair section. Prepare all posts and mounting surfaces before installation. Rest a plank on the noses of the stairs between mounting surfaces. Place the bottom rail, baluster holes facing up, on the plank with the label reading, this end top of stair, at the top post. Slide the rail up or down until the baluster hole spacing is even at each end, keeping a minimum of 2 and 5 8 inch from each post or mounting surfaces to the first baluster hole. Clamp the rail to the post. Trace the post onto each rail and mark 1 8 inch short to allow for expansion. Cut the rail at these marks. Slide a bracket onto each end of the bottom rail. Position the rail in place and slide the brackets against the mounting surface. Attach to the post or mounting surface using the appropriate mounting hardware for your application. Insert a baluster without a tab into the first and last baluster holes of the installed bottom rail. Then insert these balusters into the top rail. Adjust for plumb, ensuring a minimum of 2 and 5 8 inches between the first baluster hole and the post or mounting surface at each end. Trace the post or mounting surface onto each rail end and mark 1 8 of an inch short to allow for expansion. The rail can now be cut at these marks. Insert a baluster into each baluster hole of the bottom rail, spacing them evenly throughout each section. Set the top rail in place by inserting the first baluster at the upper post into the corresponding baluster hole of the top rail, working toward the bottom. Slide a bracket onto each end of the top rail, pointing toward the rail ends. Attach to the mounting surface using the appropriate mounting hardware for your application. Pre-drill using a 1 8 inch drill bit and install a supplied rail set screw through the side of each bracket to secure the rail in place. Insert button caps over set screws and snap bracket plugs into place. Install the two-piece trim ring by gently pressing two pieces together until they lock into place. Glue the post caps in place. That's all there is to it.